Alright, so for this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate all the speed controllers using the CC3D flight controller. To do, the, to do this, you have to take off all your props first. Otherwise, they will spin up and take off. Okay, now that the props are off, you're going to take your cable and connect it to the USB port on your flight controller. Notice that I've turned mine 90 degrees to the right, that way it's easier to get to it. Now, connect it to your computer, and you're going to boot up your ground station control. Now you're going to come over to your ground station, click on output, and check test output. It's going to ask you to make sure your props are removed click yes. Now you're going to come over here to the link and make sure all four channels are linked together so that you only have to do this once. And this error in the middle. Now at this point, you're going to grab these sliders, move it all the way to the max. This is pretty much like a max throttle on your transmitter. Instead of using the transmitter, you can use the ground station control. Now at this point, you can go ahead and plug in your copter. and then slide this all the way to the minimum. And there, all the speed controllers have registered the max and min. Now at this point, you can actually go ahead and drag this up until the motors just start to spin. And then, right there. And you can, you can go ahead and turn off the test output, unlink all four of them, and then click save. And there you have it. All four speed controllers have been calibrated and also all of them have, set, have been set to their minimum starting values which uh, CC3D likes to have so that they all start at the same time. At this point go ahead disconnect your battery and uh, put your props back on. You're good to go.